Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about Sin Slicers in Power BI. This is one of important visualization concepts in Power BI. If you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. If you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real time environment. So in this video, we will deep dive about scene slicers in Power BI. In this video, I am going to cover what is scene slicers in Power BI, how to enable and disable scene slicers in Power BI and how to remove scene slicers in Power BI. Let me go to my browser to understand scene slicers in Power BI. Let me open official page of Microsoft Power BI document. Once you create the slicers, you can control which page visuals are affected by slicers and sin and use slicers on other pages. Okay, there is option called view. In the under view, we have sin slicers options is there. We can enable and disable like this. Okay. Let me go to my Power BI desktop to show practically. Let me connect to my SQL server. If anybody watching first time my video, please check class number 3 and 4. Why? Because in class number 3 and 4, I clearly explain how to download and install Adventure Works Data Works 2000 and not in database. These databases look like real data in real world also. Data look like this only. If you follow this database, you will get familiar with the real world data. Now, I am using Adventure Works Data Warehouse. In this example, I am taking dim date, dim customer, dim geography, and packed internet sales and also factory seller sell. Let me click on load. Don't worry, it won't take much time. While loading tables, automatically it will detect the relationship and filter the data. Already explained in previous session. If you have any doubts, you can check my previous session. Tables will be loaded based on the memory of the size. Now I have loaded my tables. Okay. Now I will create some visuals and uh, I will show since lasers how it will work. I am checking calendar year from dim date. And sales amount from the fact internet sales let me make it big okay i want the x axis now i can see year wise sales now I will take one more simple visual. I will take country wise sales amount. Select the English country region name from Dim Geography and total sales amount from the fact internet sales. Let's convert to table visual. Let me drag this. I want to change the style of the table. Increase the column headers. Fourteen is fine for me. Now, 
values values is nothing but these values what in is enough for me okay i will take one si single visual is nothing but quad i will take total sales amount in the quad visual let me convert to quad to display the number yes now i will take one slicer i want to take year slicer taking calendar year from dim date i want to make it list for better understanding purpose now if i click 2013 all visuals are affecting that means data is filtering in this specific page now suppose if you have one more page i want to use same slicer in the another page also then we'll use same slicers okay now i'm creating one more page i'm taking simple example i'm taking dim geography from the english country region name okay this time i am taking resales amount from the fact internet sales convert to column chart now Take total resale amount. I'm taking chord visual. Now I have two visuals in second page. So I want to filter the data based on the calendar year. Okay. If I select here 2014, data is filtering in this specific page only. Data is not filtering in second page. So in this scenario, if you want to use same slicer in another page also, then you just need to select the slicer. And Control V. Just paste it. Now it is asking sync visuals. One or more of the copied visuals can stay in synchronization with the visual it was copied from. Do you want to keep them in synchronization? Yes, I want to synchronize. If you don't want, you can say don't want. Now I am selecting 2014 in this second page. Your data is filtered. If you go to first page, data is filtered and the same year in the slicer selected. Okay. Now I have one more requirement. So I want to keep uh, visible only uh, in one page this slicer. Okay. I don't want to visual in all pages. So we have to in two pages. I can see same slicer i don't want to see i want to see in only one page so in this scenario what you can do is just to select the slicer go to view option here uh, scene slicers this is the visible option so i want to visible uh, this slicer in first page only i don't want to visible in second page so I just remove here. Now go to second page. No, I can't see my slicer now. But I want to filter. Now I'm taking 2030. Data is filtered in first page as well as second page. So in this way we can enable and disable slicers in Power BI 
dashboard and how to remove sin slicer in power bi let's see so if you want to remove sin slicer what you can use go to slicer you just select the slicer and click here you can remove you don't want to use uh, slicer in second page you just unselect it now it is i removed i removed and I disabled both i did now if i select 2014 data is filtering in the first page only because i removed in the second page now you cannot see uh, the filtering here okay data is not filtering now so just clear this and select it go to this page you can't see the okay so in this way we can enable disable scene slicers and you can remove the scene slicers thank you for watching my video if anybody want special training you can directly email to this email or you can directly call to this number my whatsapp number also same number thank you for watching once again please share your feedback in below comment video